In the aviation industry, it is scary when the engines of a flight suddenly stops. But do you know what is scarier? When all four engines of a huge aircraft like the Boeing 747 stops functioning. Undoubtedly, as one of the largest and strongest aircraft ever made by humans, Boeing 747 has a respectable place when it comes to flights. But sometimes respect turns out as just some words, especially when all the aircraft's engines stop working when the flight is on top of a volcano. Such an incident occurred more than three decades ago, when a Boeing 747 was flying in mid-air without any of the engines functioning actively. What happened on that infamous day, and did all the passengers survive successfully that day? To know that, you must watch the video till the end. So without wasting any time, let's get started. On the evening of June 24, 1982, a British Airways Boeing 747-200 with 263 people on board, including 248 passengers and 15 crew members, took off from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The flight crew consisted of Captain Eric Henry Moody. Senior First Officer Roger Greaves, and Senior Engineer Officer Barry Townley Freeman, along with some other flight attendants. The British Airways Flight 009, also famously known as Speedbird 9, was heading towards Perth, Australia, where it was supposed to land some five hours later after taking off from Kuala Lumpur. The flight was supposed to fly from London, United Kingdom, to Auckland, New Zealand, via Bombay, Madras, Kuala Lumpur, Perth, and Melbourne, taking a stop in each city respectively. Both the pilots checked the weather reports and route conditions cautiously, and they found everything fine. The en-route weather forecast was good, and it looked as though the flight was going to be uneventful. A few hours after takeoff from Kuala Lumpur, the first sign that Flight 009 was not going to be uneventful after all appeared around 2040 at Malaysian time zone, when the jumbo jet was soaring above the Indian Ocean south of Java. Captain Moody, who was taking a stroll thinking everything's going to be fine, was summoned back to the cockpit immediately. After reaching the cockpit, he saw that windscreens were ablaze with an intense display of a weather phenomenon called St. Elmo's Fire. Despite the weather radar showing clear skies, the crew switched on engine anti-ice and the passenger seatbelt signs as a precaution. As the flight progressed, smoke began to accumulate in the passenger cabin of the aircraft. It was first assumed to be some sort of cigarette smoke, but it soon began to grow thicker and had an odor of sulfur. Passengers who had a view of the aircraft's engines through the window noted that they were unusually bright blue, with light shining forward through the fan blades. A couple of minutes later, the engine trouble began. Engine failure number four, Townley Freeman called aloud, and so one of four engines failed at that very moment. Less than a minute later at 2043, engine two surged and flamed out. Within seconds and almost simultaneously, engines 1 and 3 flamed out, depressing everyone with the fact that all the engines failed in between just a couple of minutes. While they were looking underneath, they realized that the aircraft flew into a cloud of volcanic ash thrown up by the eruption of Mount Galunggung, around 110 miles southeast of Jakarta, Indonesia. The bigger problem here was to overcome the drastic fall the airplane was suffering right now, and all the cockpit was so tense about it as there was nothing looking in favor of them. When they finally realized that this might be the last trip of their life, they decided to disclose the truth to all the passengers. But they did it in such a way that it is still considered as the worst understatement in the history of aviation. Captain Moody came forward to deliver the bad news, and in doing so, he said, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We have a small problem. All four engines have stopped. We're doing our damnedest to get them going again. I trust you are not in too much distress. Just think about it once. A giant aircraft like Boeing 747 was flying at a height of 37,000 feet, and it was falling drastically with all four of its engines failed, and still, Captain Moody was describing it as a small problem, with the belief that passengers might not be in distress after listening to their almost confirmed death agreement. It's considered more sarcastic than frightening when people listen to it now. Speedbird 9 glided with no engine thrust for approximately 15 minutes, during which the Boeing 747 descended from 37,000 feet to 12,000 feet altitude. They were hopelessly trying their best to revive the engines, and at 2056, the flight crew was finally able to restart the engines, although engine number two later surged again and was shut down until the end of the flight. But that short-term revival was enough for them to save lives. In the meantime, when they got some control of the plane, they wasted no time and contacted ATC of Jakarta's Halim Perdana Kusama International Airport, seeking their permission to land there. They immediately got the permit to do so, and hence the 
the pilots continue to go there. Once the flight finally reached Jakarta's Halim Perdanakusama International Airport, landing proved to pose additional difficulties for the pilots. While the weather in Jakarta was supposed to be good and clear, the crew could barely see anything through their windscreen, as it was blurry after the smoke collected on it, and hence they had to rely on an instrument approach. Despite all those difficulties and against all odds, the flight landed safely, leaving all 263 people on board safe and sound. It was no less than a miracle where all the engines of a gigantic aircraft failed, and yet somehow pilots managed to secure everyone's lives. It took two days until investigators found it was volcanic ash that caused the aircraft's strange behavior. That British Airways jumbo jet flew through a dust cloud from the Mount Galungong volcanic eruption, which took place 110 miles southeast of Jakarta, as we told you before, and it came out that the eruption was the root cause of those painful hours inside British Airways Flight 00. Well, do you know any such incident? Let me know in the comments down below.